Hello everyone and welcome to the Firearm Firm channel. If you're joining us today for the very first time, I'm attorney James Phillips, one of the founding partners of Katz and Phillips PA, also known as the Firearm Firm. On Friday night, early Saturday morning, I did a video on a huge victory for the Second Amendment community that came out of the United States Court of Appeals for the Fifth Circuit regarding ATF's final rule on bump stocks being ruled unlawful. If you didn't get a chance to watch that video over the weekend, be sure to click the link above to check it out. While I was busy putting out that video, apparently the United States Court of Appeals for the Third Circuit granted a rehearing on a case involving a nonviolent felon being able to purchase and possess firearms. But before we dive into that case, please take a minute to hit the like button and to click on the subscribe icon located in the bottom right hand corner of this video to subscribe to the Firearm Firm channel. In 1995, Brian Range pleaded guilty to making false statements about his income to obtain food stamp assistance in Pennsylvania, which at the time was a misdemeanor, but was punished well up to five years in prison. Range later attempted to purchase a firearm in 1998 and again in 2010 or 2011, but was rejected both times. So in 2020, Range filed a lawsuit arguing that his ban on purchasing and possessing firearms violated his Second Amendment rights. The court ultimately found against Range and he appealed. While Range's appeal was pending, the Bruin case was decided which set out the standard courts are to use in Second Amendment challenges. Based on the Bruins' decision, Mr. Range argued that since convicted felons were allowed to purchase and possess firearms prior to the Gun Control Act of 1968, that this country's text and history do not support the prohibition. Unfortunately, a panel of judges for the Third Circuit Court of Appeals still decided against Mr. Range, even though they applied the standard from Bruin. Good news did eventually come Mr. Range's way, and possibly for every other nonviolent convicted felon, when on January the 6th of 2023, the United States Court of Appeals for the Third Circuit voted to rehear the issue on Bach. Ultimately, like the bump stock case out of the Fifth Circuit Court of Appeals, the en banc court could overturn the prior panel of judges' decision. Let us know whether you think a nonviolent felon should be able to purchase and possess a firearm down in the comments section below. Also, be sure to leave any questions you have about this video or any other Second Amendment related questions in the comments section, or you can email us directly at questions at thefirearmfirm.com. Until next time, stay armed and educated.